Hey guys, Dan the Tortoise Man, and today we have one of our Oreo Fat Tail Geckos. Now, after the video with the original Fat Tail Gecko, one of the normal uh, guys, I think you guys can get a very, very good uh, representation of the differentiation between these two morphs. Uh, now, the Oreo Geckos uh, are almost exactly the same. However, the orange coloring uh, is, is a lot different. Now, these guys have, have very similar patterns. Uh, they have darker colors. Uh, they come with browns. Uh, you know, this one has the deep brown uh, on the skull on the back uh, and striped down its body, uh, as well as light browns around here. Uh, usually, the the normal uh, fat tail geckos they have more of a yellowy orange pattern uh, within this lighter brown color, uh, and some of them even get a little darker than this darker brown color. Uh, these create a bunch of different morphs. Uh, this morph in particular uh, doesn't have a lot of the yellowy patterns, none of the orangey patterns. Uh, and also doesn't have too much of the darker patterns. Uh, so that's where it gets its name Oreo from. A little bit about these Oreo geckos. Uh, they do live 10 to 20 years. Um, they are a very long living uh, reptile uh, as far as reptiles go. Um, they also are very friendly, uh, and very active, and they uh, belong in a nocturnal habitat. Um, these guys love hides uh, and they need a lot of temperature differentiation in their tank. Um, these guys have uh, a need for about 75 to about 85 uh, degrees in one corner of their terrarium. Uh, and then they like to have about a 90 degree section in the other terrarium uh, with two hinds having it both. Uh, moisture is very important to these guys. Uh, they do love their peat moss. Uh, it's a really good way to keep the moisture up in their terrarium. Uh, it's going to keep them very healthy and promote a very healthy life. Uh, the humidity for these guys should be somewhere around uh, 50 to 70 percent uh, and because they're nocturnal they do not need a UVB bulb so it makes it perfect for beginner uh, reptile owners uh, however all these different morphs and the beauty of these guys does make them uh, very very attractive for collections uh, these guys are from West African desert uh, and they have so many morphs uh, and their a diet consists of uh, animals that typically live in their climate um, crickets are huge uh, for these guys, uh, a lot of people love feeding them crickets. Uh, mealworms are really good for them too. Uh, however, they're really fatty. And even though these guys are fat tail geckos, you don't want to make them too fat. So uh, you want to watch out for that. Uh, make that more of a treat. Uh, they're going to need to have uh, some reptical in their diet as well. They're not going to get the calcium from the normal diet. So you need that. if you have any interest in owning your very own fat tail gecko, uh, Oreo or regular, uh, please let us know uh, at cbreptile.com. Uh, don't hesitate to contact us about any questions or comments you have about this video. Thanks so much guys for watching and I hope that you and your best friend enjoy a happy long life together.